go with the uh, video review for the newest of the Fans Projects Function X line. This is Function X3 uh, Smart Robin, aka Brainstorm. Smart Robin is an anagram for Brainstorm. If you flip the letters around, get Brainstorm. It's also a smart dude, so Smart Robin. Fly Robin. Fly Smart Brainstorm. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so as you can see, he is a futuristic jet type deal. Uh, he's not F modeled after anything specifically. He's not, you know, an F-15 or whatever. He's just a weird space plane. Uh, real quick comparison, because I happen to have him out, and I didn't... Oh, he did have his linear out. It just... I never noticed that he doesn't <laughs> roll flat. Here he is with his G1 self. Much better, in my opinion, than Toy World's. Stupid X-Wing. I call it Stupid X-Wing. I love Toy World, but I think their headmasters are junk. I think they look terrible. It's just my opinion. Not terrible, but they don't look proper to me. Um, obviously, this is much better, in my opinion. Um, the Toy World one is an X-Wing for some reason. Obviously, not an X-Wing. So why would you make him an X-Wing? Kind of silly, but... There you have him with his G1 counterpart. I mean, it doesn't like to stay up. There we go. Obviously, very, very close. Just very awesome. Let's set him off to the side. So yeah, here is Smart Robin. It does have landing gear. They are molded, so they do not roll. They aren't uh, actual individual wheels. They're just molded, molded pieces. So it does make him sit nice for display if you want to display him that way. So yeah, let's take a look at his headmaster. Just open the cockpit here. Pop him out. Um, I believe the US name for him is Arcana. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Arcana. There he is. Obviously, this is, to me, this is Brainstorm. And that's his transector, but again, if you follow US, this is, I guess, Arcana. See the face on the back. Um, unfortunately, these last two, Quadruple U and Brainstorm, uh, Smart Robin, don't have like the cool gimmick that Code had where, where you would bend it and his eyes would hide. These just have the visors that you just pull up and out of the way. A little disappointing. I hope like the later ones that haven't come out yet have uh, a little bit more of a gimmick to the Headmaster itself. But it's not the end of the world. So yeah, there he is, obviously, to turn him into a head, bend him, fold him up like a pretzel, fold the visor down, it's not a visor, it's actually it's the head crest, and you notice that he does not have a mouth plate. Let me just get Hasbro's headmaster out, fold him up, and obviously he has a mouth plate. This guy does not, and the reason for that is, this is how he looked in the show. And this is how he looks on the toy. Actually, that was supposed to be flipped. Whatever. Um, this is how he looks in the Headmaster's show. He didn't have a faceplate. In the comics now, he does have a faceplate, so that's why people are, like, are kind of, not really pissed, but they're wondering why they didn't give him a faceplate, because this is how he looks in the show. This is how the toy looks, and this is what they modeled IDWs after. I'm sure... Actually, I know Hasbro's coming out with a Brainstorm. Um, it's not going to be a Headmaster, but... They leaked a bunch of uh, of names and smart uh, smart Robin brainstorm was on there, and so far, all the ones that have leaked have come true. So expect the brainstorm. I'm sure he will have a faceplate, but again, the Japanese show he did not have a faceplate. I'm sure somebody will come up with a little mouth plate you can put on him or even a replacement head, but I'm totally fine with with that because I again enjoy the Japanese show. So. Obviously, uh, Smart Robin here is just a funky futuristic plane. He does have blasters on the side, I guess. Um, wings come up here. Blasters on the front, um, which also are the weapons. And you can take those off. Now they are flat pegs. And they do have a little point on the, uh, on the bottom there. So there is a flat piece on that, on the gun handle. You just want to be careful when you're taking it out of the flat peg because it kind of has to hook around when you put it in. So when you pull it out, kind of hook it up. But there are... Do it nice and slow. 
pull it out at an angle, and nothing will, bad will happen. So there are his guns. Put those off to the side. You can actually leave them trans leave them in there for transformation, but uh, I just like to take them out. So yeah, again, nice clean uh, vehicle mode. So let's just get him transformed. So what you do to start is you pull up on these, and obviously you see the fists. Um, they peg in. There's a whole a groove right there, and a peg right there under the fist. It doesn't snap in or peg in really. It just kind of guides it, and it won't really come out unless you pull up on it. So it's not like really pegged in, pegged in. Lift up on those for now. What you're gonna do is come up under these bits. And they're peg they're, there's a peg in there, and that's not really a peg, it's just a guide. And same with that, it's not really pegged in, it's just a guide to keep it lined up. So you just kind of pop that off, and then close that panel up. Extend this out, and now rotate it around, because it has to be rotated this way to collapse in. So extend it out, rotate it around, extend it the rest of the way, and then rotate it actually around the back because we're going to flip it at the hips. Come around here, flip this part forward and just flip all this up. Unfold this and you're going to fold it back down at this hinge. At the same time, you're going to pinch it closed and fold it into the back of the thigh. I'll also close the landing gear all up. And then just fold it all the way back into the thigh and that creates the foot. And the rest of that wing bit just hangs out the back of the thigh. So again, unpeg that, there's the peg, and there's a hole on the underside in there. Fold this out, rotate at the hip, rotate at the upper thigh, fold this back, fold that all out, pinch this shut, as you push it in the back of the thigh, Go no more. And that's that. I feel like that's not. Oh my god, I just hit the camera. Yeah, that's right. Now we're going to rotate it at the waist. And now for the funky bits. That wasn't funky enough for you. I uh, guess we'll do the arms next. Fold the wing bit back, rotate it at the upper thigh, at the upper bicep, fold this bit back to reveal the rest of the shoulder. Again, fist and wing bit back, fold it, and rotate that back, like so. Come over here, flip up the cockpit, rotate it around. And then what we're going to do is split it in half and then put and compress it down. Just like that. And then sometimes it doesn't want to. There we go. And then this back piece will peg in. Just feel around for it and just push it in. And then this, you should probably do that a little earlier, but it doesn't matter. That piece folds back. And then this comes up and creates the chest and also locks everything in because it's still obviously wonky because you can still unfold it and that chest piece holds everything together. And there you have his transtector transformed. And then you just take his head, plug it in, and there we go. So here is Smart Robin all transformed up. And ready to go. You can take his guns. I've seen people use them as axes like that. I think it's silly. I think it's silly for him to have guns. But you can have him hold his guns. That's him holding his guns. That's a thing you can do. I prefer to just keep them off and leave them on his backpack.
Again, you don't even have to take these off for transformation. I generally just leave them on. And then that also gives that also gives him little wings on his back, which makes it look a little nicer. So there he is in robot mode. Again, head, he doesn't have the um, head bob. It's just the disc. It doesn't have the uh, the bend joint that the other ones have. So it's just a uh, rotating joint. Shoulders, again, hindered like all the others. Not a big deal. Upper thigh, upper arm strip, upper bicep swivel, uh, double bends at the elbow, nice deep bends. Um, nothing at the wrist for transformation mostly, but uh, still get good poses. Rotates at the waist, uh, ball joints at the hips, thigh swivel, deep bends at the knee, nothing forward, and then feet pivot and this toe is on a bull joint so you do have ankle tilt so quite obviously good toy so obviously you know I recommend him because I recommend all the headmasters and then I just knocked over everything just real quick because I do happen to have him out so here he is with his G1 self Obviously, very uh, homage -y. You can see how much of a brick this guy really is. But obviously, very nice homage. Very nice. Very, very nice. Why don't you want to stand up straight? You're a brick. You shouldn't be able to flop. So yeah, this is just obviously just showing off a little bit. The comparison between old and new. So should you buy this guy? Absolutely. Again. Get this guy now while he's still in stock, so you don't have to pay aftermarket prices. Um, you will not regret it. Regret it. Regret it. Regret it. Um, he is definitely the coolest so far of the Function X line. And just real quick, since I have him out, there he is with uh, Quadruple U. So yeah, this has been the video review for uh, Fence Project's Function X3 Smart Robin, aka Brainstorm.